Hi, my name is Shelby and I'm part of the MCU ecosystem team at NXP. This video will show you how to use Segar's GUI development tool App Wizard with NXP's MCU Expresso IDE. Once you've completed your project in App Wizard, you're going to want to add the generated code to an MCU Expresso project so that you can run it on your target hardware. The first step that you will need to do is open up the MCU Expresso IDE and import an M1 example from the MCU Expresso SDK. So you go down to the Quick Start panel and click Import SDK Examples. In this video, I will be using the IDA MXRT1050 Evaluation Kit, but these steps will be similar for any device where M1 is available through the SDK. Once we've selected the evaluation kit that we want to import an example for, we can click Next. And now we want to find the M1 examples. We are going to choose the M1 temperature control example for this video. Once we hit finish, then the example will be imported into the MCU Expresso IDE. Once the SDK example has been imported, you need to generate the App Wizard output. To do this, click File and then click Export and Save. This will generate the output for your App Wizard application. If you go to your App Wizard project folder, you should see source and resource files that were generated. Now we need to replace the MWIN library and header files in our MCU Expresso project with those from our App Wizard project. In our App Wizard project, these are located under target GUI underscore lib. So the first thing we want to do is copy the GUI library and paste it into the folder mwin library under MC Expresso. Now we want to delete the old library and rename this one so that the name is the same as the previous library. Now we want to copy the header files from this folder in our App Wizard project and put them in the mwin underscore header file after we've deleted the old header files. And now we can paste them into this folder. Now we will need to disable floating point in the compiler, assembler, and linker options. If we right click on our project and scroll down to properties, this is where we will be able to do that. So in the C, C++ build settings, we want to change under MCU C compiler and architecture, change floating point to none. We want to do the same thing under MCU Assembler and then finally under MCU Linker. We can hit Apply and Close now and then select Yes. So now that we've um, updated the floating point settings, then we need to add the file app wizard underscore x underscore no fs to our project and this can be downloaded from nxp.com slash mwin dash graphics dash library so we want to copy this file and place it under mwin mwin config now we need to make a modification to our main file. So you want to comment out the last few lines of your project from GUI init to the end of the main function. And above that, you need to add a line calling the main task. and hit save. Then we will need to add a call to board 
underscore touch underscore pull. So we need to open under board at the M1 support file. And we'll need to scroll down to the function GUI X delay right around line 266. Then we can add a call to board touch pull. And then save this file. And now we need to link the source and resource folders from our app wizard project to our MCU Expresso project. So we're going to go up to our project and right click on it again. And this time we want to create a new source folder. And I'm just going to call mine app wizard and then hit finish. And then right click on this folder and then create a new folder, go down to advanced and we want to link to an alternate location. So right now we're going to go and select the uh, resource folder in our app wizard project folder. Select this and this should create a new linked folder to the resource folder in our application from app wizard. And then we want to do the same thing for the source folder. Now that we have our source and resources linked from our app wizard project, we're ready to build and run our application. So go down to the quick start panel and click build. And once the project has built, then we can click debug. This will automatically discover the CMSYS DAP debug probe on our evaluation kit. Once the application has been flashed to the board, go up to this um, top bar, hit resume all debug sessions, and then you should be able to see your application running on your target hardware. So that's how you use Segers App Wizard with MCU Expresso. If you'd like more information about the M1 Graphics Library or App Wizard, or would like to know which boards have M1 support through the MCU Expresso SDK, visit nxp.com slash m1 graphics library.